there. This is Amy. Thanks so much for stopping back. Um, today I am preparing a new um, video and I'm going to just show you at the start of the video how I'm going to be painting on this little canvas. It's a 6x6. Six six. It's Creative Mark Artist Products The Edge and I bought a lot of these from uh, Jerry Art Arama and I can link a, a link down below but I really really like these again it's a 6x6 six six. the edge is one and a half inches deep which I like for the, little, the depth of the canvas itself and I <clears throat> started I'm working on my background and I'm using brushed metal which is also a folk art product and I am going to be brushing it on with a three-quarter inch uh, one-stroke brush and then just kind of giving it a little bit of texture with this little brush which is more for a um, thicker paint if you're doing like um, palette knife type painting you know, thicker to make some texture but it made a cute little you know just a fun little background to paint the flower that I'm going to be painting for you on it. So I'm just going to show you, just going to do a little bit here on this canvas and show you that and then this way it'll give, I'll be able to give it some drying time before I come back and show you the actual painting that I'll be doing. So I wanted to get started first of all by showing you this and showing the the canvas and I am painting the sides of the canvas too for the purpose of the video though I'll be concentrating mainly on the front just to show you and it's just doing just one coat very quickly I'm working on a lot of different projects and I'll be sharing some of those here soon with you but for the sake of today's project um, I want you know, but trying to figure out something because you know I will be doing more gloss painting. Um, I am trying to work on getting that restock sale going because I really do need to get rid of the painted gloss that I have right now. I just am running out of room and feel like my life is so cluttered right now. I really need to declutter, and that's one thing. I'm hoping to have some time off this week to be able to do that because. You know, you ever get to the point where you feel like everything around you is just, it's just a mess. And then I think it affects you mentally too. So I'm just going through and just evenly tapping this down. Just tapping, pulling up, tapping, pulling up, tapping, pulling up. I mean, there's a lot of different techniques, but I think this one is going to give it a, just a neat little background to paint those flowers on that I'll be doing next. And I, again, I will do it all around, but I just, especially with trying to hold it and all, I need to get my drying rack free, but it's actually got stuff on it right now. I hope you can see the little texture. You could also do this with a thicker paint, um, but I'm just, you know, sticking with what I have right now. Alright, so that's easy, easy as it can be. And then I will be back to show you once this dries my, my next flower. Anyways, I appreciate you stopping. I will be back with you here shortly. Hi there, this is Amy. Thanks for stopping back. Today I'm going to show you how I painted this design, or a similar design I should say, on the... Um, little canvas that I prepared. I have a little landslide going on here. This little canvas that I prepared. Um, did the background uh, earlier in the video and then I uh, allowed drying time and then created the design on top of the copper uh, background. So anyhow, we will be using the pure or I'm sorry, perfect purple. I keep calling it pure. It's perfect purple. Light lavender. 
thicket, cut grass, fresh foliage, wicker white, and skull bus yellow. Three of these are actually the multi-surface, which would be the light lavender, the cut grass, and the wicker white. The other ones are the folk art enamels. All of these are folk art products. Brushes I will be using are a filbert brush. This is the number 10, the Royal Aqualon. And then a fingernail uh, fine line brush. It's got a long bristle there. And then one stroke, number 10, flat brush. And then a scruffy brush, which I'm not sure of the size. I know it's small, but I'm not sure of the size. It's, uh, it's been through a lot of use, as you can tell. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. And again, with this being so small, the design may not be identical, but similar to what I showed you on that paper. So I'm going to go ahead and just get started doing my base my base leaves on the, the actual petals of the flower. And this particular one is going to be just a, it's an open one, but not, it's almost like it's kind of leaning a little bit so it doesn't have like full, full petals all the way around, they're just partial small petals. And I'm just going to do the perfect purple right now just to get started and show where my designs are going to be laid out. And then go back in and add, add the colors. Alright, and if you like my video, please make sure that you give me a thumbs up share the video to your friends and if you haven't already subscribed to my videos or to my channel I should say uh, please make sure that you do so in the little subscribe box on the video and then make sure you also hit the bell so that you're getting the notifications whenever I submit a new video if you have any questions, feel free to ask me below. I'd love to hear from you. If you could create one of my designs or something similar, please um, feel free to share a picture. I'd love to see that. It's fun to see what other people create because everybody sees things differently. So, you know, one person might be seeing your design in one way and then their interpretation of it is something totally different. So um, I'd love to, love to see that. I'd love to share designs and finished artwork. All right, so basically on this, I'm just with the filbert, just going back over and actually just kind of touching and pulling as far as the petal goes on this. When I go back in you will see that I may turn the bristles to the side and just do some definition with the colors just using this instead of going like this using it like this. And again that just enables me putting some more definition into my piece as opposed to continuing to lay the brush down flat and pulling it. And again, this is just an easy, very easy design. And if many of you watch my, my channel, you know that that's really the intent, is to create stuff that would be easy for someone else to do. At least give you some, um, how do I want to say it, some confidence in being able to paint. Alright, I 
I just keep working these. Just keep working, working on building, building layers on them. You'll see, it'll all come together here. I keep thinking today is Saturday, for whatever reason. Although, hopefully you're off. If you have any special plans for tomorrow, if you would, maybe give me a holler down in the, in the comments section and let me know what kind of big plans you have if you're off tomorrow. Like I said, when I do these paintings, I kind of like to make my bristles or my the petals actually go kind of in different directions. Not always, but and of course, you have to keep in mind too that you can move the canvas around. So you can get it going in different directions too. I have to keep reminding myself, yes, it's okay to, to maybe move it in a different direction than where I have it pointed right now. You can also, when you're painting something like this, if you wanted to have, like maybe like you're trying to do like, um, like highlighting or whatnot, to have more color on one side than the other not give it more like you're you're trying to shade it but for me I'm not really trying to do that with this project so you know just keep working the colors until you get them to where you're happy with them and then the points on your flowers and that type of thing That's where I think when you turn your turn your brush and you're stroking on a color, it actually shows up better. Not necessarily catching the whole petal, but that's okay. I don't really you know want it to. I want some of that you know that lavenderish color to show. Then I'm going back in and adding some light. And you may have to scrape some of the paint off if you've got excess paint onto your your brush. You may find that you need to scrape some of that off. Let's see how you know you got it just all one color, and then it kind of makes it more of a just kind of mats it. Now on this, this particular flower, if you wanted to go ahead and punch in the center, you could. I'm choosing not to right now. I am going to continue with these petals. back over them. Like that. Scrape off a little bit. Then you can pull color you know, from the bottom or pull it up from you know from the top. Either way. See where, you know, then going back in and putting some uh, color into it actually will make it make it show up better. I 
that's why I say you could possibly go ahead and, and tap in the center now before putting in this part of it or just leave it and then maybe tap back in if you need to once you put some center in it. I think these are pretty little flowers. What do you think? Guess I'll, hopefully I'll eventually get some nerve up to actually start doing live videos. Working on that nerve. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start tapping in the centers and I'm using my scruffy. I just currently just put one color on it. And I'm just tapping it around. Doing this over here, just doing it the same to each one, no matter which direction they're headed. Scruffy brushes are really easy um, to use for center work. And this is where I'm saying, you know, you might want to go in and pull the bristles up, or the, um, not bristles, but the Puddles up over this a little bit once you get this painted in. And I'm going to add a little bit of white to it. I think I'm going to keep it going this direction. The white will come down there a little bit. see that. I mean, you can make it more pronounced if you want to get that center, you know, that center showing a little bit better. I just kind of put this, kind of like it just to be just pretty subtle. Alright, so we're going to leave that. Actually, I might touch this one just a smidge more. All right, looks pretty good. Then I'm going to start doing the petals, or not the petals, the leaves. Oh, wait a minute before I do that. And this is what I'm talking about here, is maybe a little bit over this so it's just not so, so defined. Just make it a little bit more, a looser, Closer look. And if you know what I mean, like it's not just cut and dry right across. That's one thing with this, you kind of have to watch that you're not overworking the paint too much because then it starts to just get all blobby and you know, like looking like one color or whatnot. All becomes a nice little lavenderish color. Okay. All right. I'm gonna stop while I'm ahead because I feel like if I keep working it, I'm gonna work overwork it. Now for the leaves, if I can find there it is. I'm actually gonna be using all three of the greens that I showed you, and I'm just basically kind of tapping them on my brush and I am going to do this as if it's going like that. I'm going to put just a little bit of a kind of a rounded look at the bottom here. Since it's only the one that's it's the only one facing like this. And then just have it kind of slide into that. And then I can just make it to where this is going like that. Thicker, you can make a thicker, um, bra uh, not branch, but a thicker, um, oh my God, I can't think of what it's called, stem, if you wish. Um, like with this, I'm going to pull this down over here. And as I had mentioned yesterday, I'm painting these. You know, I do finish the sides like this. I love these. I'm sorry. I just, I know I keep, I've said this before, but 
They're just a nice, nice quality. I really got lucky. And I had them on sale. Alright, so we're just going to do some basic, you know, wiggle, ruffly leaves. Kind of like you're scrubbing, that's what I say. So, you're doing your different greens, and then you are just coming, I'm going to go ahead and do... I'm just going to keep them all dark green on the outside instead of switching back and forth. And it's okay to do that or to have the different kind of leaves, but with the small of a canvas, it's, you know, like I only have limited room. So I'm not going to be putting as many leaves on here as I, probably, as I did on my initial sample. And then here we go again. I don't think I got enough green on that. Did I like these? I like this color. Sorry, it's so quiet used to that. Alright, so this might go into the flower a little bit, and that's okay. You know that in nature, it's not perfect. And let's see where else I want to place. I mean, you can paint over the edge, kind of like what I just did here, if you want, you know, if you choose to do so. I think it's it's fun. Um, I might put another petal leaf right here. Kind of have it going off off the edge a little. So you're basically just and putting your brush down and wiggling. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then you just have to compensate for coming over the ridge here. And then pull it down. Say wiggle, 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 wiggle. It is, it's like you're scrubbing something. You put it on here and you got scrub, 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 stop. Yay. There you go. Let's see if I'm going to get another flower petal on here someplace. Let's do one over here. Sorry. Over here. And then we're going to cascade it down the side too like we did the other one. This would just be a cute little painting to hang um, just somewhere in your home amongst maybe painted signs that you have or saying signs. And then pull that through there. Go back over that a little bit. And then I might do it over here. To kind of fill that in. Fix 
that one up again. So that's one thing you need is if you don't like the way something is, you can always fix it up. Alright, so I've done that. Then I just have to remember not to keep putting my my hands on it. Uh, I got those dripping down there. Fix up this a little bit. Not sure I like that look too much, but that's better. Alright. Um, let's see where, where we're at now. I think that looks pretty good just like that. The last thing that I will do is pull in, if I can find out where my wet paint is, pull in some things that I would kind of be just maybe, I guess, call it, consider them fillers with that little brush that I have. Like I said, this with the it's being so small, it's a little bit harder to fit all the details in that you want. I know I put more green paint out here. It's just kind of intermixed it with some other things that I have on my palette, and I can't see it very well. But see how these are just kind of. Kind of just giving it a little bit of interest. You can overlay it onto things you've already painted. And it's just very light, whimsical. Um, just kind of make it look like you've got some other flowers with your little bunch. With this one, just kind of drag it out here. Just keep it simple. Very simple. Just kind of pretend like maybe that's some grass. Use your imagination. And then what I'll do is just go back, grab some of my white. I might want to make sure I get some clean white on here. Grab some of the white. And then just put it on. If you can see here. Just take the little thing and just kind of go like that. So you're just adding like some little fillers in. They're just really easy. Nothing too difficult. And like I said, it just kind of gives some fillers to your painting. Okay, there's something else in here, and here it is. We'll put it right there. Like I said, I think that's really... Let me put some there. And then just leave it like that. So I think it turned out pretty. I mean, I could see hanging this on. You know, the other thing you could do is maybe add some dots. If you wanted to add dots around your um, the centers, you could do that. Or if you wanted to do any any more, you know, as far as like just pulling out like that, you could. Uh, for the sake of this, I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to leave it just as it is. But I really like it. I think the colors are outstanding and really show up nicely. And I do intend to start selling these as I'm painting them, so I will be linking uh, a spot where I will be selling them here shortly. So anyways, I hope that you liked my video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you like the video, remember to give me a big thumbs up, share the video, and give me a comment down below. Um, if you paint this or paint a similar design, I would love to see it. So until the next video, have a good one.